is the VOA Special English Development Report. When Sakina Yakubi was a child in Herat, Afghanistan, she saw many women suffer. They had no education and little or no medical care. Many died in childbirth. In the 1970s, she came to the United States. She became a professor and health consultant. But in 1992, she visited Afghan refugee camps in Pakistan. What she saw persuaded her to return to her homeland. In 1995, she started the Afghan Institute of Learning. The organization began by serving Afghan women and girls in the camps in neighboring Pakistan. At that time, the Taliban controlled most of Afghanistan. The rulers would not let girls go to school. Sakina Yakubi risked her life to set up 80 secret schools in Afghan homes. About 3,000 girls attended these schools. American-led forces ousted the Taliban from power in late 2001, after the terrorist attacks on the United States. Today, Sakina Yakubi says her organization avoids the most dangerous provinces. It operates education and health centers and traveling clinics. The Institute has trained more than 15,000 teachers and has provided health education for half a million women. 70% of its 450 staff members are women. The group invites men as well as women to discussions on the Quran's teachings about the equality of the sexes. In 2003, to educate women, the Institute established Gohar Shad University in Peshawar, Pakistan. The university currently has about 180 students. Around the same number already have graduated. The university offers degrees in education, business, nursing, health education, math, and computer science. Each year, the Afghan Institute of Learning serves about 350,000 women and children in Afghanistan and Pakistan. Sakina Yakubi has received many awards including this year's $250,000 Henry R. Kravis Prize in Leadership. In accepting the award from Claremont McKenna College in California, she said, Every day I see the impact of education, and that's the force that keeps me going on. And that's the VOA Special English Development Report.